the verse that really amazed me was Isaiah 9-6. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. It was possible to believe that the Messiah would be God. And you could get there from a verse in Isaiah. I grew up in a Jewish family. I was sort of between being afraid of God and yearning to know God. I remember being about four years old, not wanting to turn five because I was a year closer to death. My mom believed in God, but it was something of a vague belief. My father was between an atheist and an agnostic. And at some point, I came to a belief that being born into a particular system of belief wasn't reason enough to stay there. My parents had had help in the house from the time I was quite small. And when I was 10, they hired a housekeeper and cook named Belle. She loved God. She read her Bible all the time, and she was always there for me. I don't know what made me do it, but I asked her if you needed to believe in Jesus to spend eternity with God. And she said yes. I never forgot that conversation. My best friend was a girl named Crystal who lived two houses down from us. I think we were both searching in our own ways. Her family went to a Methodist church. She was about as religious as I was, and we were trying to think back to the beginning of the beginning of the beginning, and we couldn't do it. Our minds were blown. After my sophomore year of college, Crystal and I got together again, and she came back and told me about these friends that she had made at school who believed differently than she had ever heard before. There was just seemed to be something different about this group of kids. They talked about having a personal relationship with God. And when I went to my new school, I ran head on into a group of students who believed exactly the same way. Basically, they shared uh, how I could ask Jesus to come into my heart. As much as a part of me wanted to believe, I didn't want to believe just because another person said it was true. I wanted the truth. I wanted to know if God was real, and if he was real, who he really was. And my friend said, well, why don't you just ask God to show you if it's true. And that sounded very honest to me. If this was true, it would change everything. It would be the most wonderful thing that could happen to me. I essentially prayed and I asked Jesus to come into my heart, forgive my sins, and show me in my experience if he was real and this was true. And I decided to just wait and see what would happen. But I kept going to Bible study. This group of students were so loving and accepting. I had never before encountered that level of love and acceptance. Tom was the student leader of our Bible study on campus. And he shared his love for people and his desire that people come to know the God who loved them so much. And his eyes teared up. And I don't know what it was about that. It sort of brought everything together for me. And I suddenly, in my heart, just said, it's real. This is really real. When I look back on all of this, and I look forward as well. I know that my life would have been so, so different without, without God. And I'm so grateful that I've come to know my Messiah, Yeshua, and 
that my life has changed, not just in this life, but for eternity.